In this video of the Mac Essential, I'm going to talk about the newly launched browser from ChatGPT known as ChatGPT Atlas. So let's see how you can download and install it. For that, simply I'm going to open Chrome or Safari and let's type here ChatGPT Atlas and let's hit enter and there we go. Here we have got this browser available specifically for macOS. So in order to download this, simply click here on download for macOS. And then again, probably I need to make another click. Okay, now let's simply make a double click on it. And you need to now move this from here to application and that's it. So that's how guys, you can install ChatGPT Atlas to your system. Now let's talk a little bit more about it before we get started. So ChatGPT Atlas is a web browser built by OpenAI and just released yesterday on October 21st. It is based on Chromium browser, which I would say is engine not only for Google Chrome, but also for Microsoft Edge. Recently announced similar kind of style Comet browser as well as for this ChatGPT Atlas. The main benefit you're gonna get with ChatGPT Atlas is that first of all, you do not need to separately open chat gpt and uh, chat gpt always going to remain with it and this browser definitely going to be a next generation ai powered browser the way probably we saw in case of comet browser which in a way kind of true competitor as of now of it now let's launch this browser for the first time and here you're gonna see this kind of pop-up whenever we launch these apps for the first time. Let's click on open. And there we go. Chat GPT Atlas browser. Now let me also give you a quick overview of it. And there we go. Here uh, you're gonna see this kind of welcome screen. All you need to do here is you need to click on login with Chat GPT. And now here you can log in with your Chat GPT ID. So let me quickly do that. And there we go. Here is how ChatGPT Atlas screen look like when you open it for the first time. Now this look like familiar ChatGPT interface. Now if you go on the left hand side here, if you are on a plus or premium plan, then you're going to see some of the model that you can specifically select to ask the question. If you are using free plan, you're not going to see any of these options. Here you will simply see ChatGPT written there. Now here just like any other browser, you can simply search whatever you want to search. For example, temperature of new delhi now let me hit okay okay and seems like there seems some issue here probably this browser is too new that's why it is saying like this but it should be able to find out the temperature okay finally after retrying it was able to so that's nice but is it really the way you want to utilize it i would say no now here what i'm gonna do is i am going to open a website which I generally prefer to uh, you know buy shoes or buy apparels so let's open it and if you see here on the right hand side now you're gonna see chat GPT will always stay there now let me explore some shoes now let's say we want to have a white shoes you have certain question regarding the same so I'm gonna ask what is brand you recommend for decent shoes from here i mean you can ask these kind of questions and of course based on the page it will understand the context and then it will be creating uh, that kind of summary but how about automated browsing the next gen browsing that we generally see in case of comet browser so that also exists here for that um instead of this kind of context based question getting summary uh, here what we can do is we can go to agent mode now in agent mode you can ask browser to do things for you for example find me white shoes in mantra I am male probably I do not need to tell him he know from my account but still I'm telling him and then um, I'm gonna say of Nike and it needs to be below 10,000 
now one more piece of information that i am intentionally not giving him which is the size of the shoes but let's see what kind of detail first of all it come up with and then here you are seeing these two options one says logged out another one says logged in so this is where uh, you know you can provide your account information if you need to sign in but for the safer side i'm gonna keep it as it is for the time being and i'm gonna use this in logged out mode now let's click here on go and let's see what kind of thing it come up with and there we go we are first time seeing the chat gpt agent is browsing site in full screen i mean previously it used to kind of open sandbox but that's not the case now and even these uh, some of effects remind me of comet browser which i think they should not uh, kind of copy but this is what it is and let's see if it can also apply price filter of course which it does but still he need to further fine tune the price uh, by pulling the slider so let's see if it can and it specifically open a particular pair of shoes again went back seems like it is a little bit confused or maybe it is kind of gaining or gathering the product detail which to me would be bad if it going to do these kind of things sequently and finally it have completed the search so here it have searched uh, these four pair of shoes which uh, if you click here you can uh, be redirected probably to the page and that's the case so in this way guys uh, you can utilize the agent mode and probably you can also do context based or follow up question my shoe size is 7 which i have not provided previously and i was expecting it to ask me but it's okay and uh let's see what further it's going to do let's see so it's kind of confirming the availability of size now let me do one thing let me give the same thing to comet which i would say is a kind of quick comparo between both these browser but let's wait for chat gp to complete its research okay all right it came up with uh, the suj having uh you know seven size available maybe i could have further refined my prompt but the good thing here is uh it found five different shoes let me open all these tabs and let's see so i asked chat gpt to come up with white shoes which it does and then the brand i asked him to do is nike which again it did and then the site that i asked him to open is mantra that's also true and then um i gave him a follow up question that i have not provided him and was a very important piece of information which is my shoe size but again um i think whichever shoes he is providing i do have got that size available and probably here not so um but out of you know all these searches i think only the one search doesn't have got seven number available but still i would say this is step in right direction and now let me compare it with a little bit more matured comet browser so let me click here on assistant and now i'm gonna paste the exact same prompt here and let's see and probably i can click here so that i can see what's going on so it is also kind of doing the same it already have open mantra now it will try to search for the shoes and there we go so what this comet browser going to recommend us seems like it really found so many and one thing that i realize it also have implemented the correct filter and then here it is also kind of offering us some of the top choice and this particular shoes i think is offered by both chat gpt atlas also by comet browser which is this one and probably i think i need to buy these because both the browsers are recommending me these shoes then the second here is the following oh again the same shoes then the third fourth fifth right here you see the number of options provided by comet browser is more and i think comet browser also took less time to perform the same search which chat gpt has taken like twice or thrice but i mean come on this is their just first day and then 
uh, they just came up with this browser so they will also take some time to catch up and i will not feel surprised if google chrome will also come up with these kind of ai powered feature powered by gemini soon so this was a brand new announced chat gpt atlas please do let us know what do you think about it in comment down below are you going to install or going to wait for more further refined version or are you going to stick to comet or you still prefer to go with traditional route this is the mac essential where our objective is to elevate your mac os experience and if you have not subscribed us yet i would recommend you to subscribe to us and we will catch other in one such another video till then you take care and bye bye